Hey guys, this is Sansang Mastar from Cube Lelo and today I have a very interesting video in hand. So if you're thinking about what flagship you should buy, we're comparing two flagship cubes over here. This is the Tornado V4 and this is the Moyu WRM V10. So let's get into the comparison. Number 1. Packaging When it comes to packaging, both the Moyu Weilong WRM V10 and the X-Man Tornado V4 keep it simple. Each cube comes in minimalistic package that includes a cube box and a separate accessories box. There's no over-the-top presentation, but everything necessary is there. The simplicity keeps the focus on the product rather than the flashy presentation. Let's first discuss about magnetic customizability. One of the standout differences between the two cubes lies in how easy it is to adjust their magnets. The Tornado V4 allows you to easily adjust the magnet strength with 5 built-in settings. In contrast, the WRM V10 doesn't have any magnetic adjustment features, so you are limited to the default magnetic strength. For those who enjoy customizing their cube to suit their turning style, the Tornado V4's magnetic customizability is a clear winner. Let's now discuss about core adjustments, tensions and compression settings. So, when it comes to core customization, both cubes offer adjustable tension and compression settings, but they differ slightly. The Tornado V4 is very user-friendly with a tool-free kind of system, which makes it easy to adjust tension and compression intuitively. However, it offers only 5 settings for each, leading to a total of 25 possible combinations. On the other hand, the WRM V10 gives you a much larger set of combinations, with 8 settings each for compression and tension, resulting in a way bigger 64 possible combinations. However, adjusting these settings on the WRM V10 does require some tools which are given in the accessories box, but if you're someone who loves adjusting your cube to find the perfect setup, the WRM V10 offers more variety. Point number 3. Stability The stability is a huge point to discuss while comparing speed cubes and the WRM V10 is much better in this category. Its corner cutting capabilities are absolutely flawless, allowing for cuts even past 45 degrees and the reverse corner cutting is equally impressive, handling cuts even under 45 degrees with ease. This level of stability can make a noticeable difference during fast solves as it reduces the chance of catching and ensures a smoother flow. In comparison, the Tornado V4 also does a great job as well, but falls short of the WRM V10. It does handle 45 degree cuts, but it occasionally struggles and the reverse corner cutting is not as smooth. Additionally, the Tornado V4 has a tendency for minor lockups, something I haven't experienced with the WRM V10. However, these lockups are rare and don't significantly hinder the overall performance of the Tornado V4. Point number 4. Performance The WRM V10 performs amazingly. It has speed with excellent control, allowing for fast and reliable turns. I found that even with some of my faster algorithms, the cube never locked up or felt unstable, which makes it very consistent during speed solves. The Tornado V4 flagship model performs better than the Pioneer version in my opinion and the Tornado V4 flagship version seems more reliable while turning, something that the Pioneer version does not have. While it may not be as fast as the WRM V10, it provides solid and controlled performance that some cubers may prefer. Also, the Tornado V4 requires much more setup than the WRM V10, but the setup is completely worth it. After proper lubing and breaking in, the cube feels absolutely amazing to turn, especially as the Tornado V4 is much quieter and less irritating than the WRM V10, which has a very high-pitched clicky sound while turning. The build quality on the Tornado V4 flagship also feels much superior to the WRM V10 and with the Tornado V4 flagship price similarly to the WRM V10, it's a strong competition. So that's it for this video and I hope I'll see you guys again. Let me know down in the comment section down below what you be like better among those two. Hit the like button if you like the video, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to get updated for future videos. Thanks for watching and happy cute. Oh,